And our topic today is all about differences of opinion. This is something we hear all the time whenever we are sort of engaged in explaining things to people, whenever we're trying to sort of give dawah to somebody, especially among the Muslims, or to correct a mistake that people have, we hear this sort of classic response that this is an area of ikhtilaf. It's an area where the scholars differed. And you have your opinion and I have mine. Kind of like a lakum deenukum waliyadeen. You have your religion and I have my religion sort of answer. Uh, and you know, you, your scholars say one thing and my scholars say one thing. And uh, sort of this is the, the response that this person gives you when you're trying to approach them, when you're trying to talk to them, that the difference of opinion. Sometimes it's not even when you engage with someone, sometimes you and yourself, you know, you, you look at an issue, you want to find out the truth of that issue, and you find that there are eight different opinions, seven opinions, five opinions, three opinions, and you feel like you are drowning in a sea of differences of opinion. So how do we deal with all of these differences of opinion? Very, very simple. The Prophet ﷺ said, وَإِنَّهُ مَنْ يَعِشْ مِنْكُمْ فَسَيَرَ اخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّتِي وَسُنَّةِ الْخُلَفَاءِ الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَهْدِيِينَ مِنْ بَعْدِي عَضُّوا عَلَيْهَا بِالنَّوَاجِذْ وَإِيَّاكُمْ وَمُحْتَثَاتِ الْأُمُورِ أو كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم He said In a, a long hadith of which we will just quote the latter part of the hadith. Whoever of you lives for a long time will see a great deal of differing. So the first thing you should know when you see a lot of differences of opinion, this is a prophecy that we were told about by the Prophet wasallam, and we should not be surprised because we believe that he is Muhammadun Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He's the messenger of Allah. And as the messenger of Allah, what he says is going to happen. What he says is true is going to become true. And he sallallahu alayhi wasallam, said, if you live for a while, you're going to see a lot of differing. A lot of people with a lot of different opinions, saying a lot of different things. Ikhtilaf. And so you shouldn't be surprised. Then he gave you a generic solution. فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّتِي Stick to my sunnah. Whenever you have an ikhtilaf, whenever you have a disagreement, try to find the sunnah. Try to, to search and to, to discover what the sunnah is. And the sunnah of the rightly guided khulafa, because the companions as a whole, and especially the, the khulafa al-rashideen, but indeed all of the companions, we are commanded to follow their guidance, to believe as they believed, as Allah Azza wa Jal said, فَإِنْ amanu. If they believe as you believed and they have been guided, and Allah Azza wa Jalla said about them, radiyallahu anhum wa an, Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with Him. So these are a people that for sure we need to emulate them and to follow their guidance. And at the foremost and at the front of those are the Khulafa al Rashidin, who are specifically mentioned in this hadith. Bite onto it with your molar teeth. Take your, you know, your molar teeth, the teeth at the back of your jaw and bite hard. Bite hard onto the sunnah. And then avoid muhtathati umur, the newly invented things. Those opinions and that ikhtilaf that has no presence among the companions, nor does it have any presence among the golden, you know, the, the generations, the great imams, the great scholars of Islam. It's from muhtathati umur. It was just invented last week. Or it was just invented 100 years after the Hijrah, or 400 years after the Hijrah, or 500 years after the Hijrah. It was invented and it has no precedence. 